Hi everyone, Tinkerman RC here, and today we're going to talk about the 360 degree thrust vectoring F35 Lightning from Hobby Lobby. Okay, I just purchased the bare airframe kit and I want to go over what, how the kit comes out of the box, what comes with the kit, we're going to talk about the electronics that I'm going to install. Alright, the first thing we're going to go over is the airframe. Um, the airframe out of the box comes with the main landing gear installed. And check it out, retracts, they're awesome, that's nice. Retract landing gear already bolted in, ready to go. All you got to do is put your servo in. Um, as you can see, the kit is pre-wired. Look at that, all the, all the wires are already ran for you, so all you got to do is install your uh, servos all the way up to your nose. Okay, that's the fuselage section. The uh, main wings, as you can see here, and they have the ailerons already installed in a place for the servo, as well as tail feathers here. These are the uh, elevators or elevons, whatever you want to call them, but they're elevators. All right, and we have our vertical stabilizers, and we also have our uh, cover for the motor. You can see here, um, the hardware kit comes with all the attaching hardware, rod ends, and everything you're going to need to hook up to your servos, and real nice looking uh, nose cone here. Okay, now on this particular kit, I'm going to be running a, a Turnigy 80 amp ESC. All right, and we got our uh, Spectrum 7000 receiver, AR7000 receiver. This airplane is going to require an AR7000 receiver, you guys, because you're mixing, you have seven channels you got to mix. All right, as you can see back here, you got your thrust vectoring nozzle that's going to require mixing with your pitch up and down, which would be your elevator, and your rudder left and right. Rudder. It's going to work your uh, thrust vectoring nozzle. You're going to need an... Uh, a DX7 radio that has a 7 channel radio. Alright, I'm running a 9 channel radio as you can see there. Okay, we're going to run our 9 servos. These are the HEXT servos from Hobby City. Great servos. I've used them in a lot of my uh, ducted fan foamies. Alright, the power plant we're going to be using, the ducted fan unit, we're going to be running the E Flight 480 ducted fan. This is the 4800 kva motor that runs on a three cell i did something here a little unique this outer assembly is a 70 millimeter and this fan is a 70 millimeter okay i took the motor out of a 64 millimeter and i just jumped it up to 70 millimeter obviously many of you are asking what about the amps what about the motor i ran it up uh, it doesn't draw but five or six more amps than stock okay uh, it made good power good thrust and uh, this particular fan unit you can get at BP Hobbies, okay, and it has the adapter unit that bolts right onto your uh, motor. Motor sets in there real nice, as you can see. And that's going to be an interesting feature. Also, you can run, that uh, motor assembly runs on a three cell, okay, so um, that makes it nicer that it cut down on a couple ounces of weight. All right, and obviously we got our instruction manual. So let's go ahead and get started on the assembly, and uh, I'm excited to get this thing together. Okay, before we install our servos, I like to do a what they call a pre-power up to ensure that the servo is centered. All right, as you can see, we got our battery plugged in to our receiver, our ESC radio over here. Two wings laying here, and um, I, I have my servos powered up, and they're centered. Okay, as you can see here. Now I'm going to get ready to install them into their respective areas, and then run my rods back here. So let's go ahead and do that next. The servos are installed, ready to go, they're rigged, okay, they just set right in there. We got our rods set to the proper length, they're powered up, and as you can see, and we're going to do the same process for the elevators, okay. Okay, as you can see, you go left and right, and they're set correctly, okay. Okay, now the next process is we're going to go ahead and uh, install the wings onto the fuselage, okay, and... Um, they're going to set right in just like this into this gap. We're going to go ahead and glue them in and then hook up our wires. I have the wings glued on as you can see where we last left off. We were just getting ready to install them so the wings are glued on. Our wires are run into the uh, airplane. Okay, we got our uh, ducted fan unit here we're getting ready to install. As you can see, she's going to set right down in place. We got our ESC that's going to lay in there. and I just have it setting in there, but that's going to be setting down and taped. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our... Uh, Ducted fan installed, get the thing powered up, and then next we'll go on to the tail feathers. We'll get those servos installed. We last left off, 
with our ESC and our fan unit just temporarily setting in place. Okay, I've installed the ESC. As you can see, I use the tape to help secure it in place and also to help with the airflow. Um, we do have our fan unit installed, elevators installed with our servos installed, and we did it the same way. We did our ailerons, powering them up, finding the neutrals, and then centering the horns. Okay, um, one thing I do want to put is a reverse servo lead. Okay, and you can get, you can get it. it at your local hobby store. Uh, on this particular model, due to the fact that you have the servos placed in their respective positions, you have to uh, use a reverse servo lead. So you can get them both going the same way. I'm also going to be using one of these on the landing gear and probably the nose gear. Okay. okay. So the motor's installed. We um, finished up the installation of our thrust vectoring nozzle. We have our uh, elevator thrust vectoring nozzle and our rudder thrust vectoring nozzle is installed here. Our, our uh, servo for our rudder thrust vectoring is here. Okay. Uh, we have our landing gear servos installed. And I will point out that you have to have a reverse servo on this particular landing gear. You need a reverse servo on your nose. Okay, up front on the nose. Nose gear steering servo here. We have our nose landing gear retraction and extension servo. Our 7000 Spectrum 7000 receiver setting down in there. As you can see, our three cell battery that's going to power our 70 millimeter fan unit. Okay. And on our thrust vectoring. Okay, so the first one we're going to turn on is our elevator thrust vectoring or pitch. Okay, it's now on. There's our pitch. Okay, we're going to turn on our rudder thrust vectoring. Okay, there's our rudder thrust vectoring. Pitch and rudder. Okay, I'd like right. to thank RC Red Baron for some of the help on this. When, it's, when you're programming this, these servos to run your thrust vectoring, you want to turn them off. You want to turn them on. You want to have that capability programmed in your radio. Landing gear, retraction, and extension, and show you how I slowed down the servos. Okay, gear up. Okay, and gear down. As you can see, they're down and locked. Okay, they don't break over center. Around. There's your aileron, there's obviously your elevator, turn on your thrust vectoring. On the scale with the battery ready for flight and it weighs 2 pounds, 8 ounces. We just completed the run-up, and uh, I'm pretty impressed. She, the model made two pounds of thrust, or just under two. It bounced between uh, one pound, 15 ounces, and two. Uh, the model weighs two pounds, eight ounces, with a three cell. All right. Um, I did want to point out to everyone that, again, this is the E-Flight. The motor that I'm running, this is the E-Flight 480, 4,800 kV. KV motor and I'm running it on a 70 millimeter fan. It's an eight blade and fan unit. The pitch is not that aggressive, but as you can see on the 4800 KV motor, it made two pounds of thrust. So that's pretty good. And it's light and you can run your three cell, which is light. So it should be a great performer. Okay, um, I do want to thank everybody for watching the video. Uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed it. Uh, stay tuned. As soon as um, Again, you know, we got a lot of snow on the ground. When the weather breaks, we'll get her in the air, and we'll see how the motor and battery combination uh, work out. Again, thanks for watching.